Hi guys, once again this is Alfred back again with another Green Arrow strategy update. I want to do a little troubleshooting in this hopefully brief video, but we all know how verbose I can be at times. Uh, I want to do some troubleshooting and I also want to talk about some small updates that we've done to the strategy. Okay, first let's get troubleshooting out of the way. And also, I want to cover some updates, and I, I want to talk some tips, too. Okay, troubleshooting. Let's tackle that first. Um, you guys see this this uh, uh, arrow floating here out in the wilderness? That's clearly not at a key level on our RSI. Um, it's some glitch that's somewhere inside of the MT4 platform. We are working vigorously to chase it down, but for right now, uh, you're not going to hear an audible when these arrows, uh, these mis displaced arrows, if they ever show up on your one minute chart, they only are showing up on the one minute charts. Uh, you're not going to hear an audible to alert you to these arrows. Uh, but sometimes they'll just, you know, there'll be a little scattered uh, displacement. Not sure why we're working on resolving that. Um, always uh, make sure you're getting an audible. Make sure that you can also qualify on your uh, RSI down here that you're at an, uh, a, a key level. Now make sure that, that that there's really been a trigger uh trip and uh bef obviously you know before you even consider uh taking a trade now that's all i'm going to say about that um another thing i want to touch on with this one minute strategy tips Tip one, um, practice this strategy some in a demo account prior to going live with the strategy. Um, it's going to be a little less fast paced and a little uh, easier. Uh, I won't say easy because I hate using that word. <laughs> word. <laughs> hate using the word easier. Um, it's probably a better practice to begin working on a working on a five minute chart rather than working off of this um, one minute chart once you've got a little bit more experience and you're comfortable uh, then you can look at the one minute chart you do not need both charts ie a one minute chart and a five minute chart you don't have to have both charts up uh, on the same pair. Uh, work off a chart consistently. Now, let's talk about timing. Here's an alert right here. Now, this came exactly 20 minutes. 20 minutes, which means this has to the top of this is 21 minutes we're four minutes away from a five minute interval as I discussed in the book I'm only trading these on brokers that will give me a five minute interval I'm not looking to trade kind of displaced time and what I mean by that is uh, getting into a particular trade at 17 minutes and uh, getting out 22 minutes there's no one with a five minute chart that's <laughs> going to see my exit 22 minutes in and that's the simplest reason why I can explain that 
another reason is the experience, the actual data that we've collected actually doing these trades. Um, you can see it on our site in the old signal results. And uh, they were all based on actually expiring at the 5 minute intervals. 5, 10, 15, 28, 25, 30, 35, 40. For anybody who's ever played hide and seek when they were really young. That's that's uh, what we're trading around. So this, this trigger right here, what's the first thing you're going to do? Look at the time. What's, what's the actual time? And what you'll see is that the time doesn't line up. The it's 20 minutes, and so therefore you can't, you wouldn't take that trade. Uh, that's that's all I'm getting at there. Uh, I'm sorry, right here. This is the 20 minute trade. You wouldn't take that trade. Now, I've got a red line there. Got a red line there. A blue line here. Aqua. This is a trade that you could have took. It's 19 minutes. That means this is going to expire really close to uh, the, the the lockout time on your broker. Now, this is a trade that if you would have took it, that trade wouldn't have worked. Uh, but you got another trigger that was tripped here around uh, a top on our channel. And you could have taken that trade and that trade would have worked. Again, we're only getting involved in these when the time which is specified in the ebook. That's what I'm getting at here. We're only... Uh, trying to execute these we're trying to take advantage of all of the data that's already been collected for the last couple of years not back tested data but forward tested data from actually trading it <laughs> uh, trust me on this uh, sometime within the last uh two minutes th this is where you want to be and Here's another aqua arrow, and we can see things lining up here. Time-wise, uh, resumption or a bounce off of that number. Now, let's talk about some little new tweaks that we put on here uh, very briefly. We've added something. I'm going to update this in the back area. Again, you guys are welcome to come in and overwrite the green arrow indicator with our newest update and you will see uh, this right here which is simply it's going to be updating in real time and what it's going to do sorry I had something in my ear there what it's going to do is to give you a measurement in pips from from the top of this channel here to the bottom of this channel now this number is going to move uh, from time to time obviously depending on the way the market's trading but here are some rules of thumb we have some statistics up here. Okay, we've got some statistics here which denote the swing of the day. I'm not sure you guys can see that. So, make sure I've got this in focus. Okay. Today's largest swing up, 335. Today's largest swing down, uh, 61. Now, because we're working off of a uh, 
working off of this broker here. Don't don't let these numbers throw you. These these are not pips. We've already transcoded this so that you know it's because we're on a five decimal broker that these are points. So immediately when I sit down and I look at the swing of the day, I know from the open of the day, whatever day it is, according to my broker server, that we have swung six pips down we swung roughly 30 let's round it up to 34 pips up so the majority of the swing on that day is up to the upside so we've got something positive going on as far as the swing of the day that's always been there that's in our round and hold numbers those are the statistics and that's a quick use for them at a glance to help you now this is a 30 day average swing up 83 30 day average swing down we've got 51 pips let's call it 52 let's just round it up here's an idea 83 51 when when these channels are very tight if you're getting a trigger i.e. like the channels uh, right now 7.9 pips if you get a trigger there's obviously not a lot of volatility in the market at that time and how can you tell because right up here you've got the average swings of the day you've got the large swing up and swing down on the day and you've also got data here telling you how much the market is swinging on average for the last 30 days so seven pips is that enough psychologically to make someone say oh my lord i've lost a lot of money i'm ready to sell my trade i'm out because that's what's really happening here some guys are in a trade I'm excited. I believe the market is going up and I'm going to get in here and I'm buying. I'm a buyer. Okay, it's moved against me a little bit. No big deal. Wait, it's moved against me some more. Wait, it's moved against me some more. Oh my lord. Okay, <laughs> that's about enough. It's all I can stand and I can't stand no more. Now, the math, ding, ding. We're getting an arrow here, getting an arrow here, but the time isn't right. Okay, we're still getting arrows, and now the time is right. If we can get a little pullback, which we did, that candle's red, we're going to get in and place our trade. We could have done it on this previous candle, which is uh, eight minutes or we, we could have done it on the, the candle just, just before the lockout. Two minutes before the lockout or actually at the lockout. And what you'll see is, you see that wick that's right there two minutes before? All of this data that's been gathered from our actual experience trading this, uh, it shows you that these, these, the numbers and the suggestions in the ebook are solid. And you can have a little more at a glance by actually looking at this new data that we're putting here, which is just swing data for the channels. It's going to be very dynamic, and it's going to let you know, hey, this th we, we've had a lot of volatility, or we've had a very little volatility. I'm going to actually put the average for the hours uh, into the ebook. I'm going to try and update that and uh, get that in the ebook as well. But it's again just some icing on the cake, hopefully to help you guys uh, make a better use of the strategy, trade more confidently because you are taking calculated risk, not just out there randomly gambling. Uh, like some people, uh, like uh, to be frank, a majority of people. And, and that's that's a party that we really don't want anyone uh, to be a part of 
and um, okay there's one more thing that we've actually added in this update I want to cover this as well okay right here you can see a gray arrow we've actually also added a new sound for this a new sound for this as well when you start to see these gray arrows this is kinda like me tapping you on the shoulder hey the market is aggressively moving against you and this is a counter trend strategy but the strategy uh, it looks like it's not working don't don't keep fighting to try and catch this top or this bottom some people call these a waterfall and we just my brother David came up with an idea for an algorithm to turn these alerts gray and also to change our audible it's going to kind of sound like a waterfall and it's just a little psychological trigger before things get out of hand now you can see there we actually did flatten out uh, we did come back and have another run but we flattened out we had another run if you would have said wait a minute Here's a waterfall right here. I'm just not going to chase this market. You could have called yourself out way back here. Now I know somebody's very clever. And they're saying, well, if that's the case, why don't I do a longer bet? <laughs> and trade with this trend like if it's a breakout. We're all adults, people. So... If that's something you feel comfortable doing, at times, yes, it could be profitable. But this is just a counter trend strategy based on short term uh, trading. So, what we're suggesting, in our opinion, is to simply wait out when you start to see these waterfall formations. Just wait out this entire turn, uh, give it a little while the markets to return to some uh, something that resembles normality because if each one of these lines is 10 pips look at that that's something you don't want to try and catch and encapsulate in a binary options bet so that's why we added these waterfall alerts to kind of tap everyone on the shoulder even including myself guys I never exclude myself from this these everything we add is also something that uh, we use personally and we find helpful and uh, so we add it to the system and uh, hopefully uh, it's something that's going to uh, help you guys uh, to to be able to trade the strategy and at the same time um, have these little audible alerts uh, have these little visual alerts uh, so that a lot of the math is out of the way and hopefully the decision process can be accelerated uh, as best it can be that's all I have for today guys that's our update uh, to the green arrow strategy again once I get these up, they will be in the back area if you've purchased this strategy. Go under account info, re-download the archive, and overwrite the existing green arrow with the new green arrow that you'll get inside of the latest archive. Thanks a lot, guys. See you guys on the next video. Once again, this is Alfred for BinaryOptionsTutor.com.